Grapes and Connect has developed in the last years the project HES, Global Employment Health Equity System. The main goals of HES have been basically to develop the concepts, the indicators and the indices, the measurement and different types of analysis on four key employment conditions. Unemployment, precarious employment, informal employment and child labor. We have developed these analysis, these concepts, these measurements at different levels, but basically covering the whole world at the global level, so that includes low-income countries, middle and high-income countries. It, is, it may seem surprising that some or many economic indicators, for example GDP and so many other economic indicators, are so highly developed in the world and we can find easily so many useful indicators to understand, to analyze, to, uh, to monitor different types of economic indicators in the world. However, when we go to employment conditions such as those I mentioned, it is very surprising to find the scarcity, the limitation of these indicators around the world. That's why we have been trying in this project, GIS, HES project, to develop a different types of strategies to understand better, to measure and to monitor these indicators for employment. For example, uh, if we talk about unemployment in the case of Spain, typically we find that there are you know, very high level measures of unemployment such as 25 or 26% or even more. But this is so important, but at the same time we need to understand that these indicators need to be stratified by different groups, social groups. For example, if we talk about the situation in the north of Spain or the south of Spain, we can find a range of difference between 6-7% in the north, 40-45% in some areas in the south. Similarly, we can find that you know, the most deprived social groups, the most deprived social classes sometimes have levels of unemployment of 40-45%, while at the same time, you know, the most educated, the high class groups have may, may have perhaps levels of 6% or even less. In the case of precarious employment, which is another important topic we have been analyzing in this project, we need to understand that precarious employment very often is defined using indicators such as temporary employment or job insecurity. This is useful but at the same time very limited. In the HES project, in the Gretz and Connect group, we have been developing different strategies to understand better precarious employment that goes much further the standard you know, reductionist type of analysis that typically is used in precarious employment. That means that we need to understand not only temporality, we need to understand the level of income, we need to understand the level of social protection, the level of rights that workers may have, but also the capacity that they have to execute these rights at the workplace. Using this type of approach in Hayes, we have been found that, for example, in Spain, and some years ago before the crisis, uh, the levels of precarious employment are basically half of the working population in the whole country. That is much, much higher than the standard level of temporary employment that typically is used, typically is analyzed and disseminated through the mass media. About 50%, almost 50% of the population, but that includes a range that goes for example, between 20% in the case of men, Spanish or Spaniard people, and uh, people over 34 years, 30 years of age, and people who are professionals. Now, on the other hand, we find that some people that are basically women, immigrant, young, and working class have levels of precariousness that goes around 90%. So it's a huge difference that we need to understand in order to classify, in order to define these different types of groups. Now, in Hayes project, we have been studying unemployment, precarious employment, informal employment, and child labor, and for each of these 
employment conditions, we have developed different types of studies, analysis, trying to conceptualize, trying to understand the best measures, the best instruments to measure this type of employment conditions in order to reach some goals. Number one, to make more visible these employment conditions and understand better them. Number two, to be able to study the evolution and monitoring of these employment conditions and for different types of social groups, by class, by gender, by different type of social stratifiers. And also, uh, this has been tremendously useful to analyze the impact of employment conditions on health outcomes. And finally, as the possibility to understand or to interpret better the implementation of policies, social policies, labor market policies, etc., and their impact on health and health outcomes in health equity in general.